Hey, bro, what's up? Hey. Steve. What's up, man? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm fine. I'm so sorry, bro. I thought the business was legit and it was going to pull through. I never thought my friends would deceive me. It's okay, bro. I'm not mad at you. The deed is done already. For real, man, I am so sorry. I know how calculated and careful you are with everything. Even though that I convinced you into this business, I know you'll never fall for such. I feel so responsible for how things turned out. You don't have to. You wouldn't have known the West Kamaso, right? Of course, I was mad, but yes, I'm fine now, okay? So, cheer up, well, feel free. I'm so okay now. <laughs> That's my big bro, like, <laughs> thank you so much. You just leave the, the huge burden off me. Oh, Come on, man, I got you. I wish you know the extent of damage this failed business deal has cost me. It's like a stab right in the heart. But what can I do or say? You are my brother. Will I ever recover from this? <sighs> You should be ashamed of yourself. As a mother, and at this age, you still do not know how to set your priorities right. Hey, Mr. No All, let me be, please. Olma said, do you have an idea of the activities of your sons in this house? Itau Bagbala! Two weeks ago, you were in China, in Beijing. You left and went to, to Paris. From there to London. When we were in Berlin. And now you're back. Oh, fuck all that. Do you expect me to leave my business and come back and manage the house for you? Is that what you expect me to do? I'm too busy for that. So how will you know what they are doing in the house? You are the manager of the house. I expect you to manage it well. Dad, please, it's okay. No, 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 no. Let him. Mm? Let him say whatever he wants to me. Nobody does anything good in this house except your super perfect father. So let him insult me the way he likes. <laughs> you see, you never listen. And you're not even ready to change. Instead, you choose to play the victim all the time. The problem, one day in a genet. Can you both please just stop this? No, 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 no. It's his fault. Always putting the blame on me. Huh? He started it. It's his fault. Just be a good mother and wife. At least for once, Nena. Look, my dear. Your mother. Talk to your dad. Hey, Zabi, how caught you? you. Oh, what? Oh, 
you're awfully gloomy these days or just keeping to yourself. Hardly go out. And when you do, you come back here looking worse than you were before you went out. Dad, come on, I'm fine. Dad, I'm fine. I'm okay. I'm fine. Are you sure? 100% sure, Dad. Well, just know that you can talk to me if need be. Sure, Dad. Come on, tell me. Dad, I know that. And I trust I count on you 100%. Okay. I'll be at the garden then. Good day, sir. Welcome to Bruno Autism Resort. What can I offer you, sir? Some company, and I promise I'm not gonna be rude. Cross my heart. You can sit. <sighs> my name is Charles Oka, and you are. My name is Sewe but you can call me Sese. Sound so pretty. Only beautiful damsels bear such names. <laughs> really? Same old, same old. Walked up from that place to this place just to deliver these regular lines. I'm disappointed. Trust me. Well, I guess you must have heard this from numerous guys out there. But I feel this. It's actually going to be different. And with me, I assure you, there will be no disappointment. <laughs> Come on, how can you be giving me this regular lies? And you're talking about difference. Wait, are you no longer the main gender? What's different about you? I understand you. It's a normal feeling every lady should get having a guy come sit by her. But I assure you, with Charles, it's going to be different. Still same old, same old. Come on. I'm disappointed, trust me. Charles, come on. You're still doing the same thing.
thank you for honoring this call. I know it was urgent, but I'm glad you're here. It's fine. It didn't seem like you were going to stop calling if I didn't agree to come, so I had to. <laughs> sure, you know. I wouldn't have actually stopped at that, you know. But thanks anyway. I'm glad you're here. You're welcome. So, what did you want us to talk about? Well, nothing really. I just needed someone to talk to. Someone who really fits into the shoes I am in currently. That is why I suck for you. And you choose a stranger? Don't you have family? Friends or even girlfriend? It's actually complicated. I am not much of the friends guy. I only keep my younger brother as a friend. And he already feels so bad being part of the predicaments I am in at the moment. And even my kid sister, who ought to have been someone I could run to to talk to. She's actually an emotional person. And I can't talk to her. Well, like you rightly said, you're just the best person I can talk to. That stranger. And I feel you understand my plight. Okay. That's why I chose you. Tell me, what exactly is the problem? Like, what's wrong? On that fateful day. Sounds too good to be true. But trust me, it is legit. Let me prove a point to you. This is it. Come on, take it. Okay. Wow. Um, I mean, look Everything legit.
that was how the business backfired. Practically business I had invested virtually every dime I have made in the whole of my life. Oh my goodness. I can't even talk to my dad about this. You know, worst of it is he has done so much for me. How do I fall back to him to discuss this with? Oh. I'm so sorry. I'm really, really sorry. Oh God. Yes. I'm sorry. As if that was not enough. I ran back to Mimi. A woman I call my love. A woman that is so dear to my heart. A place where I find true solace when I'm down. Guess what? You can't imagine. What? I found Mimi with another man. No way. Oh my God, fuck, shit. Oh my God. Chaz, I'm so, so sorry. I'm really, really sorry. I'm sorry I had to go through all of that. That's why me, Sese. I don't find solace or I don't confide in humans because humans would definitely always fail you. That's why I find my solace in other things. Really? I see. You are probably a solution to my problems, I see. Hmm. Did I hear you say you find solace in some other things? And if I may ask, what could that be? <laughs> Trust me. You don't want to know. your brother. I'm talking to you both. I said, where is your brother? Sorry, mom. What did you say? Oh. Ado, I said, where is your brother? You get carried away easily these days. I don't know. Maybe he should be in this room. He's not there. And it doesn't seem he slept in this house. Huh? Hey, you dare not ignore me, young man. I said, where is your brother? Mommy, I don't know. Oh, oh my God. What do you mean by you don't know? Huh? Your brother is nowhere to be found and you, and you both are acting dumb? Huh? What is all this? Ado, please. Get me my phone from the bedroom. Hey, Steve, where is your father? Mommy, I don't know. I don't know. This boy seems not to just know anything that is happening in this house. Steve, I, I, are you normal? What's wrong with you? I'm talking to you, Steve! Mommy, I don't know! I don't know. I'm finished.
be joy. So, how far now? I did, I did, I did. How far? Like, I did, I did. But don't cause, don't cause, don't cause. Don't cost. Don't cost. I like touch light me, I beg. I beg, don't cost. 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 Yeah, this guy. Have a clear. No worries. Fine, fine. What are you saying? You said no. You don't think you will let that happen. What's in the worry? Hold on, let's get it. Hey, you should be On whether you did tap or you know they tap or for and I know or no. Know. In fact, I did pray make you no know tap because you see me. Eh? I'll go touch light that guy. Is that the guy fine? No, the guy fine, but come on. I can't believe the both of you. You know me too well that I'm not into light skin guys. Okay. And I'm off the market right now. Oh, and even if I am not, it's definitely not going to be with a light skin guy. So please. Yeah, big. Forget all this your English. Me and you know see that guy enter here now. Like this, now like this. See your teeth and your face will be shiny like touch lights. Like that. Don't say, calm down now. She says she you know what. Eh? She don't know say me, I ready. See me, I swear I go lie to that guy. See? You see me? <laughs> see, see, I ready. Oh, I go pass. Ah. 
your sister. Okay. Oh, that's her. Good morning, Dad. Good morning, people. Good morning, sis. Good morning, my angel. How are you today? Fine. Where is mom? Oh, yeah. She had a 7 a.m. flight this morning, so she left for one of her numerous business no. trips. She was supposed to give me some money. <laughs> really? How do you keep quiet and sit down and stop the drama? Ah. Avoid me, please. Trouble me. Alright. There is a more serious issue on our hands. I am worried about your brother Charles. He is a shadow of himself. He braces in and out of this house. Keep it to himself alone. And he avoids everybody. I know there is something biting that young man. Something is eating him up. But I can't place my hand exactly on it. Has he confided in any of you? But I don't get you. I mean, when he is always home and reserved, it's a problem. Now he's always out, it's still a problem. Steve, are you that blind to notice that Charles has not been himself for some time now? I'm so disappointed in you, Steve. I don't even know why I'm wasting my time discussing with you. Look at you. I have warned you several times about wearing this earring. Why do you choose to appear like a rascal when you are from a very responsible family? Let me just tell you, you cannot bring disgrace or disrepute to this family. <sighs> My 
idea. Call me as soon as your brother is back. Okay, Dad. I have a meeting to attend to. Okay. Bye. This will really look good on you. You see, the Ankara, what I love about it the most is the Ankara. I love this fabric. Yeah, I think I love this too. It's so wow, this is so beautiful. Yeah, and it's gonna look so good on you. Yeah, really. I think this is so beautiful. And you know, I love what you're wearing too. I have stuff like this on my shop, and I promise it will be so perfect. And you'll like it. You see, with what I'm seeing here, I think I'm convinced. going on here? I hope I'm not interrupting anything. No, no. I I guess we're done here. Yeah, we are. You know, just call me when you're ready, okay? And I'll direct you to my shop. Sure, I'll do that. I think it's time for me to take my leave. I think your friend has got some nice stuff, I see. Just don't take me home. Stop, take me home. You have no party, I'm gonna make you up. Just let me love you again. 
I am crossed in love. Please. Sorry. Please. Your meal will be ready in a jiffy. Okay, okay fine, 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 fine. Please, Cecil, just, just give me one more these chance. These things, um, it's not black and white. Don't you understand? I am not that girl you want I me to know, be. Cecil. I know, Cecil, please. We still have one more chance to love again. Please come on. Charles, please. Are you not listening to me? I can't love you. I'm not capable of loving anybody. I can't be that girl you want me to be. I can't be that girl to you. Sasa, no, I understand. Please, let me love for the good of us again. Please, just let me love for the good of us. Let me do it. And I'll show you. We can be happy again. We can both find love. Please. Sometimes words fail me to show you how much I feel about you. You, only you. Cause you give me butterflies. Butterflies. Try to get all these items from the market, okay? Okay. And be fast about it. Okay, well, can I use your car? No. I'll be going out soon. Use Charles's car. Okay. it has taken you so long. It has taken you ages to discover that there is something wrong with our son. Please, 
Please, honey, don't start. This is serious. The other day he just passed out and all efforts to, to wake him up proved abortive until he eventually opened his eyes and was unaware of anything that happened. Hey, see, I think this is a spiritual attack. Slow down, woman. I agree there is something wrong with Charles, but I don't think it is spiritual. Hmm. Okay, if you say so. But I still feel we should get a man of God to pray for him. That's Calm all. down, Nena. I will handle it. Sunday's birthday, and I was wondering if you can come for me. Oh, no, no, no. I pass, man. <laughs> please. Come oh. on, oh, please. Man, I need some rest. Just have to rest, bro. Come on, big bro. Rest from what exactly? I have been the one handling your businesses for a while now, and all you do is hang out with that girl named Sissy. Hello, and when you're home, you're always asleep. I mean, come on. You need to spend time with me. Okay, you win, you win. Man, just two hours, man. Two yes, hours. Just two hours, big bro. Two hours and I'm done. That's it, that's it, that's my big bro. Okay, man. I hit the wrong to change. Oh. That's my big bro. That's my big bro. <laughs> explanation to this. But see, I know something is wrong. Okay, see, he was supposed to come pick me yesterday. He didn't show up. He didn't even call to tell me what happened. And now I'm trying to call him. His number is not going through. Hi, God. Please just keep him safe. Oh, babe. Still, you need to take it easy. I feel he's caught up with something. You know, you... I, I... You don't understand. The last time something like this happened, he was arrested for possession of unprescribed drugs. 
If not that his aunt who is a barrister stepped in to explain that it was a coincidence, I don't know what would have happened. What would I do if something similar happens? See, all this one when I talk about, no consign me. You don't consign me at all. I swear to God, I'd vex, I'd provoke right now. After you gave me the impression that you're not interested in the guy, suddenly you are all loving up with him. No one. Can you just shut up? Ah! Really? Shh. Wait, are you doing this right now? I believe he's, he's safe. So please stop overreacting. What if you're wrong? What if you are wrong? This number is not going to. That is the probability. You're not sure. Come on, babe. See, don't say you know this guy. You know Charles doesn't behave like this. Yeah. Oh, you know him now. You know Charles. Calm down. You're making me want to cry now, right now. Please calm down. <laughs> Dr. Kane, what is wrong with my son? The nurse asked us to come back today for an answer. Oh, we're sorry about that. Uh, we needed to ascertain the cause of his predicament first. And once more, I apologize. Oh, okay. Okay, that's okay. What's wrong with him? Can I see him? Will he be okay? Uh, no, 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 it's okay, man. It's okay. He will be fine, but it will have to take some time. You see, your son has been abusing all the drugs and substances. What? What? No, 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 doctor, no. That's not true. My son is a good boy. Madam, anybody can abuse drugs, and your son is not an exception. See, your son has been abusing a class of drugs known as opiums. What? These are medication for pains and the reduction of stress from the brain. And uh, some of these uh, opium drugs include morphine, vicodine, we have codeine, we have oxycotine, uh, tramadol, hero, and a host of others. It might interest you to know that uh, excessive and wrong administration of such drugs could lead to various complications. And uh, what your son experienced is nothing but um, respiratory arrest, which led to hip collapse. Hey! 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 My God! My God! Mommy, it's okay. Mommy, it's okay. Where will I start from? Where will I start from, Steve? Mommy, Where will I start? Okay. Hey, Hannah, okay. someone on me, Hannah! Hey, okay. hey! Steve, where will I start it's okay. from? It's okay, Mommy, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, 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 Dr. Ken, what do we do now? Uh, we will monitor him closely and place him on uh, medication and uh, also place him on therapy or pro, uh, most likely send him to a rehab as a case with Rehab? What? What? Has he gone to that? Oh, no, 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 no. It's all right, it's all right, it's all right. Hey! It's all right, it's all right. Um, Dr. Ken, um, can we see him now? Of course, we can.
Hello Joy, how are you? Don't worry about my flight and cancel all my reservations. We'll be supplying our clients via shipment. I won't be traveling anytime soon. Yeah, thank you. Have a nice day. Am I dreaming or something? Don't say anything. Shh. Uh -uh. Yes. I want to focus on my family for now. Who can't tell me? Bagba says she never got. Yes. Come, come, come to me. Mm. I'm so proud of you. Thank you, darling. This Thank is you. Great. Mm -hmm. This is wonderful. Yes. Let us stay together. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> where are we going to? 
whole year before that, mm-hmm. we have to go to the bedroom. Wow. Right <laughs> now. Oh, yeah. Come on. Okay. Come on, let's go. Oh, okay. yeah. Because you give me butterflies, butterflies, only you. And Salome, no frequency of my dad, for my heart, never. Ungardina, you look like it, where my heart, you open up. Always keep falling for you, 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 only you. You be like a secret for me, oh, no. It was a terrible experience. I wanted to give up and run away. It was a hell for me. Sorry. From the constant cold to the chest pain to the constant shaking. The itching was the worst of it all. I had bruises all over my body. I wanted to give up. No. But the nurses at the Uni Spring of Life facility were so supportive. And I needed to heal. For you. For us. For me. If I would, I had to start from there. Without even saying a word. I'm so, so sorry. So you have the guts to show your face here? Oh, Ado, please. Don't be rude here. Be in your room already, please. No, wait. I know I can't undo what I've done. Neither can I raise the pain and heartache that have caused this family. But I am truly sorry. I didn't mean for any of this to happen. All I wanted was just to forget. I 
just wanted to forget the pain and trauma of that fateful day. Paul and I were best of friends. Then all of a sudden he started making sexual advances at me. I was so mad at him. I didn't talk to him for days. Then he apologized and promised not to repeat it again. <laughs> that fateful day, he called me and told me that he was so sick and I hurried to his apartment. to me. Come on, Tazel. Why did you do this to me? You know, oh, God. I wasn't even the worst of it. No. After that came the nightmares. No. The cold, horrible, sleepless night. Oh, when I closed my eyes, all I could see was his horrible face. <sighs> I needed to forget. Oh. I wanted to forget. I had to forget. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> My dead neighbor in school now introduced me to the substance. <laughs> Initially, it felt so peaceful. Oh, it was so peaceful. Gosh. Nothing mattered anymore. <sighs> then, <laughs> I took it again. And again, and again, and again, I'm so then. Sorry. It's okay. I'm so sorry. Come okay. oh, here. No. I am very sorry for everything I've caused your family. I didn't want any of this to happen. I didn't want to take your brother into this mess. I didn't want to cause your family okay. that pain. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. Baby, I'm sorry. <laughs> Baby, take him my hand, girl, I give you for that shit. Uh, now you be the one that I want for life, you. Yeah. If I give you belly, I go sit there with you. Uh, I love you, I need you, it's all I do with you. Yeah. 